We are back at the Acre Shore Stadium. We have 6 and 0. Oh, wow. And we also made another win. The Limbaugh students actually came out to see Larry Fitzgerald for our sports center on the road. Our friends from Serafino just giving us the best food. We got crushed at Flipco. Cause we, cause we crushed. Like we'll be, like we'll be spoiled again. I'm trying to build a windmill. <laughs> No, I knew, I knew some of these college football games are so much fun and exciting to watch because the sports set crew as well. Really everyone started at JMU the Virginia Tech last week. No, here's the thing. Let's see what you got. Because I'll tell you what, the crowds keep growing for that, that sports center show every single week. Yeah, so Charlotte, we've got Tulane Charlotte next Thursday. We're taking the single prop plane down there. Coach will drive his hybrid. Yep. And we'll uh, we'll be there in Charlotte. Cannot wait. See what Charlotte can bring to the table. Oh, awesome. the company. Oh, hey, Tulane's got a good season. John Sumrall first year there for him for the Green Wave is now we talk pit because they're going to move to 7 0 on the season. First time since 1982. We got five game games left in the regular the season. So our last home game is going to be against Clemson on the November 16th. And oh, we also will face against SMU, Virginia, uh, Louisville, and Boston College. So at Boston College will be the last game of the season, and that's it. Now we'll race for the ACC championship. But that schedule, this is gonna be rocking. Let me tell you, son. We will have a good record, but yeah. But there's no one changing this. I'm so glad our team is doing very better this year. Because now, I mean, this season. But last year's season, we was not. We had three and nine. That's not good season. And that goes for Temple House too. I don't know why my Temple Owls are the worst team ever, but I know of a few years there wasn't, but now they are. We got some work to do. They run the table and get to that championship game. They're in. Win or lose. I mean, you could have two undefeated hitting Miami playing for the ACC title. In my book, they're they're in. I mean, it doesn't matter about the title game. They're in the playoff with that the quality of wins they would have. Now it's doing for a punt, like we usually do. One game at a time. No. But let's just say, because again, Clemson's got the one loss yeah. to George out of conference. Let's say they go unbeaten in league. Miami goes unbeaten in league. Clemson beats Miami, ACC championship. Pitt's only loss on the season is to Clemson at 11 and 1. Who's a playoff team? Right. Miami, uh, uh, 12 and 1. And that's some, that, that's some sad. sad. I brag about there, there could be some ball. sad. You know, I mean, but Pitt, get, at that point, don't you put Pitt Tennessee still has to play Georgia. LSU's got a big one this week. Uh, hey, Pitt, I think. They, how do you not put them in? It, right. It, there's going to be. It, but it's going to be a fun November. But 11 and 1, you're sitting there. You don't have to play in the, in the ACC championship game. You feel a lot better if you could because it would be a lock. But at 11 and 1, you're feeling really good about yourself. I, here, here's what I love about college football it's the greatest sport on the planet. We are not too far removed from when newspaper people decide the national champion, right? <laughs> so then we come up with the, the Bowl Alliance, the BCS, and all that fun stuff. The board's still in there. Nick Lappy brings him down. I, I, again, I'm surprised by that. But then we go to the BCS. Everyone complained about the BCS. The computers wanted to. They were, then we created they, the They pretty much got it right, they though, would almost get it every right year. So then, we need more. To the four-team playoff. We loved it at first. 14 playoff, greatest thing ever. But then we complained right away because it wasn't enough. Started getting some controversy on four and five every single year. The one I, there was last year. Sure as the sun comes up, I will bet any amount of money that the second we're done with selection day on Sunday, there will be people we need 16, complaining we need 16. We need because teams 13, 14, and 15 didn't get in. Point being, the greatest thing about college football is no one's ever satisfied. <laughs> sun tells me we'll begin. <laughs> well, I'm the beginning. You, there is no other sport where the regular season matters more than college football. Has oh. the 12-team playoff 
to this point effectively. Not what a night, guys. Probably enhanced it, to be honest. I would agree with because, you know. Crazy crucial. Yeah, I actually would have to tell you, uh. You want to, you know, set in the second loss, you're done when there was only four. Yeah, you're done. You're out. You're only four getting it. Ole Miss, out. Uh oh. They do have an injured player for Syracuse. Yes, this is timeout. Willis, the talented freshman. It is worth noting with that completion, Kyle McCord's now thrown for 300 yards in seven straight games. Yep. The uh, 59 attempts tonight. I really got some life in my life, man. I like, really. Five interceptions. <laughs> it's the first Syracuse quarterback to ever do that, Mark, as we take a look now at Willis. See that ankle bent back, the right one, yep. Caught underneath him. He's up now. He's going to get help onto the sidelines. But look, I mean, we're up here in the booth. We're not calling the game from the sidelines. But th this Willis situation is why I'm surprised McCord's still in there. Because yeah, they have a lot. They have some. They're having a heck of a year in Fran Brown's first year. And they got a bunch of, you know. And we are under uh, five, minutes five minutes to go in the fourth in the last quarter. It's a hot team right now. Everybody kind of. Wrote them off early, but someone that I know some people that have picked them to be a sleeper team in the ACC. That's right, and still, they're still they're still, still very much a lot. Yeah. By the way, Syracuse has not played at the Dome since September 28th against Holy Cross. That's a long time on the road. Another player down here. This one for Pitt. Oh wow! We also. What is going on? With these players right now. Yeah, but I mean, you, you talk about, you're, you haven't been at home in almost a month. And in fact, when they show up for November 2nd to take Virginia Tech, it will have been over a month. They were trying to win three rank, three rank teams. For first and for time Syracuse, they do have got four more games left to, to go in the regular season. The, game the next game after this, they'll face against Virginia. Then Boston College in California, UConn, and Miami on November 30th. And that will be the last game for the season for Syracuse against Miami. That's going to be the last game for the season against Miami. Well, is the uh, uh, six. on a show. Yeah, we all-time quarterback Tim tonight for Syracuse. Probably nine and one record would be he, nice he, for Syracuse. Like if not, it's gonna be any two. Even announced on him. That's how loud the dome got. I never understood why Eagles fans boot that. I mean, they're Eagles fans. That kind of tracks. Now it's third and eight but for like Syracuse. Had, what a career he had. Oh. Ball on the. What was he like? What was he like? Uh, let's see. Probably yeah. on the oh, forty-one the yard line. <laughs> He was about, I mean, I don't know he ever had a bad day. I mean, he came in with a smile on his face. He would be cracking jokes, having a great time. Now, he took it seriously. He loved ball. I mean, yeah. He took his preparation. Yeah. But he would just come in, and he would work his tail off in that film room. But, man, he would come out to practice and do. I remember the one. I mean, he came out like shorts pulled up as high as they could go. <laughs> he would come out and just put a smile on everybody's face and have a great time in everything he did in football. Of course. So affectionately, the class clown. But the best, player, player, but the the best player took his job seriously, always performed at the highest level, but could do it as the class clown having a great time. He was he was awesome. You look, I, I love. Yeah, he could do things, but his athleticism and his, I, he's a guy. Could you imagine him in today's offense? As you see, back then. There wasn't all this shotgun spread no. quarterback no. athleticism because he was a special, special athlete. Well, the NFL now is, is built around the offense. The quarterbacks can barely get touched. The defensive guys can't touch the receivers. I mean, he'd have had a field day. The flag on that play, Emmanuel Ross covered by Brookins. Yeah, I mean, you look at some of these guys that played in different eras. <laughs> Pass and appearance. And you're laughing at the stats they're going to put up. 15 yard penalty. First down. He's got to turn turn around if you're Brookins. Yep. 
Now in the red zone now for and Syracuse. Fran Brown hopes to get Syracuse back to the days when Donovan McNabb was running around the dome. They were they were electric. Oh, they, it was. That team had some good players. Kevin Johnson, the wide receiver, he was good. Syracuse great. Robbie Conrad, the running back. Robbie Conrad, yeah, number 44, I believe. The historic oh, he had 44, the 44 for Syracuse. He had yeah. the 44. They don't just go hand that thing out. Keith Bullock at linebacker. That's like the number three at Notre Dame for the quarterback. Yep. They hand that out to special ones. Donovan Darius yep. at the safety position. Now we're doing that all time team. <laughs> That's just one of the roster. That's just one year. That's one team. <laughs> And Tabucky Jones was the other team. Tabucky Jones, what a good football name. I love the 90s college football. The cord rolling out, takes a shot at the end zone, incomplete. Intended for Ross. Remember 90s football though, baggy jerseys, neck rolls. Oh, the Associated Press was giving out national championships. Pitt, Pitt was playing at Pitt Stadium. Pitt, Pitt, yeah. I tell you, you walked in there, and on the wall, like they do now, and, but this is the Steelers' home as well. Yeah, and they have all the national titles, the 90, the All-Americans, the, you know, Heisman, Tony Dorsett won the Heisman Trophy. And you're like, oh, hell, this, oh, wow. Like, this, this is good. I was going to leave it alone. Fourth down. Yeah. Um, what's your, my... I mean, we go back to these there, all-time there is, I mean, nine-time national champs. I mean, when, when you look at it at Pitt, ten NFL Hall of Famers. Syracuse has nine, 20, uh, but Pitt has 25 college football Hall of Famers, 99 first-team All-Americans, nine national championships. Syracuse, three Heisman Trophy winners, Pitt only this the one. The I mean, it, it is. Team of the 90s, Nebraska. Oh, yeah. I mean, man, were they good. All right, more football history. On the side of the two-minute timeout. And we'll be right back since we had a two-minute mark, two-minute warning.